I believe that everyone is born with a master's degree in interior design. It is a cosmic blueprint that is thrown at us from the, the stars, the galaxies, and it, is, it hits us at the time of conception. And um, it is made to help us design and build ourselves. The degree includes 36 uh, basic building blocks of design. Dogs have 37, I'm just saying. It also includes uh, principles, uh, roadmaps, instructions, costumes, lots of costumes, because we want to be diverse. The parts to our identity don't come prepackaged. We have to get ourselves together. The brain allows us to do that by emotions, feelings, experiences, therapy, experiences, and therapy. <laughs> We are complex animals. Our, our brains move at 20, no, 260 miles an hour. We have 86 billion brain cells, and we have 70,000 thoughts a day, but we have the attention span that is one second less than a goldfish. <laughs> our brains achieve amazing things. We produce enough spit in our lifetimes to fill two swimming pools, picture that. And we shed 40 pounds of skin. So when we talk about dust bunnies underneath our beds, it's really us bunnies. <laughs> A poem. Electro electromagnetic impulses carry a repetition of rhythmic beats around the curves and folds of three pounds of constant activity. We are lightning birds that, that fly much higher than our consciousness. Do not poop on me, electric seagull. <laughs> the amazing thing about our brains is that we can actually, when we speak to ourselves or speak to others, we can actually change the microscopic details of, of our brain's wirings. So what we, we, we actually have the power to do is break hearts. No matter how astonishing we are, sometimes what we do is we build ourselves with crappy material because it's cheaper. Or what we do is we don't pay attention to the blueprints because we want to be somewhere else. What happens is that we, we build this rickety house on a slippery slope. And we put up walls, we close doors, we inject ourselves with poisonous ins insulation. And if that's not bad enough, we stand back and go, it is what it is. Today we have 6,500 languages in use. We have 171,476 words in the English language. So we have lots of ways to, ex to express ourselves, but it goes without saying. I believe that in order for me to be a human-centered designer, I need to embody empathy rather than try to define it. Empathy is not the first step of ideation process or a design process. It should be the last step. Over the years, I have heard lots of people say, everyone is replaceable. But how can that be possible? How could I replace my sister? She spent all her life uh, adoring me. And how could I, I break that? How do I uh, rent a Kardashian? I don't know, from <laughs> another planet. Um, the thing is, we can't replace people. It's impossible to do, but we can replace our manifestations. So they are fear, invalidation, laws, mistakes. This is a replaceable list, and it goes on and on. Some things that help me design myself is building a feature wall that is painted with resilience and colors of the human spirit. Sometimes cool colors, sometimes warm colors, um, and sometimes unexpected palettes. I also wallpaper with humor, which is no joke because it actually requires five different parts of the brain to, to actually 
uh, energize itself at the same time. It also produces painkillers and stress relievers. It, it doesn't protect you from sharks, unfortunately. Storytelling also helps. Uh, the brain actually wants stories. It wants to search clues out. Sherlock Holmes once said, the dog did nothing in the nighttime. I have no, no understanding of this sentence whatsoever. I don't know what it means, but my brain is trying to figure it out. Interior design is not for wimps. Uh, really what you need is to understand mistakes and that mistakes are okay. Uh, you need to find somebody that has your back and you need to find somebody that goes a little bit faster than you. Mistakes are really like mushrooms. You never really know where they're going to pop up. And after a while, they turn to manure. And from that manure, great things grow. So remember, mistakes, mushrooms, manure. <laughs> it's hard to make mistakes in your imagination. Um, when I was a little girl, imagination was my saving grace. And it still is. Um, when I was little, I wrote stories even before I could write. And now I write stories because I don't want to forget. In one hour, our hearts produce enough energy to raise a ton of steel three feet from the ground. Can you imagine if we were able to insert that heart energy into ourselves each day? How empowered we would be? Thank you. <laughs>